I'm John Skinner, and this supports my online summer flounder fishing course at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, including a link to a video on how to tie the rig. In my previous video, I went along on a charter boat trip to provide fishing instruction, and this is the same kind of thing, except it's on a private boat. And this one's going to be a lot of fun, thanks to those two guys up in the bow there. So we're sitting in the locks of the Shinnecock Canal. Uh, locks are closed. We're waiting for them to open those doors ahead of us, and we're going to head out uh, into the ocean and uh, look for some fluke. All right, so I'm going to confuse your names. So I'm going to go with Nico yep. and Carlo. Carlo and Nico. Okay. So you guys have been fishing since you're like you can remember since you're like four years old or something yeah <laughs> yeah i know the feeling I, it was me yeah snack around my little little rod uh-huh like ever yeah. since i have caught that one fish yeah i've been addicted all right well i hope that came through on the audio because yeah that kid with a dead serious face said uh ever since he caught his first fish he's been addicted so all right here we go Okay, we're going to be heading about three miles offshore to an artificial reef in about 85 feet of water, and we've got some really beautiful conditions. I'll just give him one of my rigs. It's all set to go. I'll just throw a bucktail. You can put a bucktail on one of my rigs. It's got the 30 pound. I mean, I don't know how much you guys want me to do. I, I want you, these guys to catch. So, yeah. 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 We want to yeah. learn. As much as we excellent. Catch from you and we want to have a good day. We don't care about you know us catching fish. We want the yeah. fish to learn. All right, so. Why don't you set one of them up? In fact, I'm gonna give them the, the Nexus. All right, so uh, the, the first thing we always do is drop down and see how much lead we're gonna need. So I just put a three on here, so let me get some gulp. Um, so I haven't used bait for anything in years. That's all we use is gulp. And you know, we'll get sea bass with that too but you'll tend to get the bigger sea bass. We'll see what it, um, when I drop down, I'll be able to give you an idea of what the, uh, what lead, how much lead. This is a three. Also, you want the spiral uh, as well, spiral What's tides. A, oh yeah, it just, it, just it, it, it eliminates, it eliminates this torque, this side to side. So especially for the kids, it would make it really nice. Yeah, for and my easy. son, I just got him all right, and that's Nick, and the other two on board are Rob and Justin. All right, so the good news is it looks like three. So what I'm doing is, you know, so I've dropped down, and now when I go like this, you see how the line is slack? It's not really getting picked up really fast. If it was too light, what would happen is that would get picked up right away. So do you usually set the, the kids up with, um, so I can tell you that, all right, so here's the other thing. I like on these reels, these are flipping switch reels. Yeah, I bought so, that reel yeah, because so, yeah, boom. Like, and so three feels right, three or four ounces, I would say. And, and it depends how, like the, the kids, I don't know, I would put it on, I'm gonna rig, rig them up. Who wants the real fish in? Ah. Okay, you just saw all the fishing that I'm going to do on this trip. Um, and you know what? I kind of like the fact that the kids didn't just jump at the chance to reel the fish in. You know, they want to catch these fish themselves, and that's my objective as well. So, all right, well, that was the demonstration on uh, showing how to get started, and, and uh, it's going to produce a, a short fluke, so it's a good start. And in the beginning of the next clip, I'm going to be getting Carlo started. And it's really, to me, going to be amazing to watch his progression from the beginning of the trip to the end of the trip. I mean, he just picked it up so fast. Okay. Uh, let's get him in with his no bow rail. But yeah, if you get one, one hand, make sure you have one hand above that. Right. And you want to just, you want to, no, do, yeah, do the more deliberate ones it will be easier for, for you to do that the the rapid jigging is is very tiring and it's uh, a little difficult to do sometimes in the deeper water once you're out here well, I got one. here you go crank just crank just crank just crank don't pump them uh, where do you have your net don't don't pump just reel just reel steady good boy well, Justin got one too 
Just real steady. Keep real, Carl. That's a fluke too. Yep, you fluke. see the fluke shakes on there. Yeah, good boy, good boy. There you go. Bring him over. Just bring him. Walk back. That's it. Pull him. There you go. Nice one. Nice going. Way to go. All right, okay, give it slack. Oh, I got. There we go. Nice one, Carlito. So look, kid, you did that all yourself. I gave you some instructions. You followed the instructions, and you caught the fish. So good, good boy. Way to go. I think the smile says it all right there. I got right here. I've got a 5 0. This works just a plain hook with the grub, works real well here. I have that one set up on the other one. The, the, you know, so these are good, but you see how the, the shank is short? And uh, so that one looks like it was hung up one time. Or something. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, I like the looks of that. There we go. Okay, yeah, just get some gulp on there and that one's good. Let me just check the drag because I don't know if he's... Yeah, that's good. I will do that. I'll leave that in cheek. Okay, bring him over if it's a better fish. Oh my god! <laughs> a nice one. Nice one. Now that's a keeper. No measure in that one. Okay. Wow, Nico, look at that one. Alright, two keepers on the first drift. Good work, everybody. We haven't put any bait down yet, so even better work. All right, so let me help you with that, Carlo. All right, so that's two keepers and two shorts on the first drift, so we're off to a nice start. All right, we're losing a couple of rigs to the structure, so I came out with a lot of leaders, and I'm just making sure we've always got another rod ready to go in case one breaks off. Uh, they can get right back into the water. Uh, you know, having a lot of bottom time means a lot. Oh. Very good, Nico. That's a fluke. Just, just keep, the, just keep reeling. Just keep cranking. It's definitely a small. I'll tell you that. I would have a net ready anyway. Yeah, I guess it. Yeah, okay. I guess it's not a big. Back on you now. Back right there. Okay. Nice fluke. Oh, that's a short one. Way to go, though. You, 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 you know, you did what you were told to do, and you did it. So you got one. Barely hooked them too. Real, real, real. Okay, keep reeling. That's a fluke. Good boy. Okay, I got the net for you. Just keep, okay, drop back down, just like go right back down. So, when when you got a fish on, the most important thing is to keep the rod bent, which means you, you, gotta, you should be reeling. And try to resist pumping the fish up, just, you know, just reel and keep a good bend in the rod. That one did look good, and it was a fluke, yeah. But, you know what? You, you hooked them, so that's an accomplishment. You're learning really, really good skills. You've hooked you know, definitely two good ones, because you got one in the boat, and that one looked good as well, so. There you go, reel, reel, reel. Reel, keep reeling, keep reeling. Don't stop reeling.
And that's a fluke. You see all these people here not catching anything? All these adults? And you're catching them. So. You hooked two on this drift. Yeah, and that's a fluke. You see those shakes? No other fish is that. I bet everything I own that that's a fluke. Okay, bring them over. Nice wow. one. Bring them up. That's it. Nice. And you let them into the net. You're really paying attention. Yeah. Okay, push the button on the reel. Always give the net man slack. Or else it puts a lot of tension on it. Okay. It's all right. Yeah, it's up in the thing. Got it. And I bet it was because, but you went right back down. He followed. There you go. Yeah. Just Google Shinnecock Reef and then you'll get the contents. There you go. There's a fluke in the back. There's like tugs and armored personnel carriers and subway cars. And Yeah, just, keep, yeah, just keep the rod back. He's heavy. How do you like the rod? That's good. I love the yeah. Reel. I like the rod. Yeah. I like the side one. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the Montauk rig. Yeah, just keep the rod bent. That's the important thing. And he's probably going to come straight up because. Uh... All right, walk backwards. Whoa! Okay, slack. Push the button. Nice going. There you go, Judge. You got your door matter. That is my door matter in the oh, year. That beat yours for sure. Carlo, you wanted to stay in bed this morning. Just now, do you see he hit that plane, that plane hook on the, and the grub? We're gonna get a picture of that. Oh my god! All right, Justin with a beauty. Uh, hey, this next clip, this is like one of my all time favorite pieces of video that I've recorded. Grab. There you go, real, just real. Just real, that's a big fluke. Can somebody pass me the net, please? Uh, I, I know where it is. So it's, yeah, just take take this rod. Keep just keep the rod bent and reel. You got a big one. I can you please get me the net? Keep just keep reeling. That's it. Just keep, that's it. That's it. Okay. Finally got one. Look at this guy. Ah! It's bigger than mine. Wait, Got some teamwork going here. Yeah. Just keep that's you're doing the right thing. You just keep turning the handle. Don't pump. Just don't lift it. Just keep reeling. You do it right. This is gonna be on YouTube. YouTube videos. This one's definitely bigger than That's it. Yeah, he's still there. You're doing it right. Slow and still just keep you just keep turning. You just keep turning. Keep turning. Okay, he's coming up. It's a nice fish. Oh just walk gosh. back. I right, turn him. Just walk backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Okay, now push this button. Push the button. Add a boy. <laughs> Good boy. You, you did everything right. You did everything right. Nico, you waited yeah, and look what you guy. got. You got a big surprise. Oh, that was so hard. Man. That was yeah, so hard. Things come so to wait. That's right. Now you know what we're gonna do? You, we're gonna take a bunch of pictures of you, okay? Because that's a big one. Oh, and you're gonna Carlos going back in. He wants to catch a John <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> we got the flukies. I beat my world. I beat my record. There definitely. you go. Yeah, you definitely beat a lot of records with that guy. <laughs> nice work. Oh okay. my god.
Wow, that was exciting. Uh, mission accomplished, and it's just awesome. Um, I'm only concerned about how the <clears throat> drift's going to work out, so it's a matter of the, how the wind's going to interact with the tide. But the fact that it's getting down towards low, I, I'm not too worried about it. Get, set the hook, set the hook, jerk it. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, drop back down. All right, so when you feel that weight like that, and I, I saw you felt it, yeah, you can just. Okay. Then give, yeah, keep that hand right where it is and just pull his head off. Just yank. Make him, there you go. All right, Nick, no, 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 he didn't stay on. I don't think he stayed on. Keep bouncing, bounce, bounce, bounce. He co comes back again. You hit him as hard as you can. Hit hard as you can. Hard, hard, hard. Okay, get real, real, real. Okay, you got him. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't switch now, but if you can find a way to get this hand, I'll tell you what, can you put this hand above the reel? You're gonna get a lot, there you go. Now you're gonna get way more leverage on the fish. Big sea bass. Whoa, that's good. Eat. Uh, all right. Go. Let's eat that maybe tonight. Nice job. See how? That's, that's a beauty, yeah. That's huge. That's oh, my that's biggest sea bass. Is it? All right, so you got your, your biggest sea bass. We'll make it. I feel like I'm a whole new fish. You're a what? I feel like I'm a whole new fish. <laughs> all right, he said he feels like a whole new fisherman. Uh, you know what? I have to agree. Just tremendous progression from both of these kids. So uh, that was extremely rewarding for me to see. All right, my camera got bumped, so it's tilted a little too far down. But we're going to get to see Rob uh, get a real nice one in the stern. So I noticed it was all fluke in the beginning, and now it's all sea bass. What a yeah. change, yeah. Oh. But at least you got I, I think just... The, being able to get the kids to have some success out here uh, with the deeper stuff, that's a fluke. That's a fluke. Good, yep. Oh, I like that. It's those head shakes. Uh, yeah, that's on the Nexus rod, so I, I got a good feel for it. So it's worth noting that the last three fish, uh, the three biggest ones, came on just a hook with the six inch gulp, but the hook was uh, kind of something special. It's a uh, Berkeley Fusion 19 heavy cover hook it happened to be a 5.0. 4.0 might be better, but uh, it, it did very well. And I'll have a link to that in the video description. They have a nice long shank and very effective bait holder barbs um, so that the gulp just simply doesn't slide down at all. So uh, you might want to check those out. Very nice. This is going to be a good one. He sees the net. Let me get some video of this. Yeah. Okay, lead them right in. Lead them right in. Right in. Right in. Nice. Yay! Beautiful Ooh, work. Another monster. All right, enough excitement to knock them both out. They are sound asleep. All right, uh, if you haven't done so already, I'd encourage you to check out my online course at saltstrong.com/skinner. If you like these videos, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.